Okay, so uh, this is uh, something a little bit different, uh, an alternative to the traditional performance review. So here we go. Uh, so about 18 months ago, my company surveyed all of our employees to see what we thought about the current review process, the annual uh, review, performance review process. And the results came back looking like this. Uh, nobody really liked much the, uh, the traditional format, where once a year you get feedback and, and it was very impersonal. So we came to the idea that just like in extreme programming, if, you, if something's good, uh, not, don't just do it once or once a year, but do it more frequently, do it all the time. And so getting feedback all the time sounded like a good idea because uh, the performance review, ultimately, it's about improving ourselves. And so about this time, I, I had finished reading Daniel Pink's book, Drive, uh, which talks a lot about focusing on intrinsic motivation. So things like mastery, uh, the ability to see yourself growing in a skill, autonomy, the ability to have some control over what you're doing, uh, and purpose. Uh, and so having meaning in what you're doing. And so we're growing rapidly. So we've got more than 300 people now in multiple different offices. And how do we scale this where we have a very flat managerial structure without having to add management layers? And so that was the problem before us, trying to figure out how to improve our annual review process. And so we came up with something called uh, we called the advocacy program. And so it's basically a peer-to-peer -peer network of people helping each other without intervention of management. And so uh, we, we came up with a safe-to-fail experiment uh, that was a voluntary situation where people could, could try this out voluntarily in a, in a pilot program and basically pair up with someone in the company and that person would hold you accountable to getting feedback regularly. And so basically it's this, this virtuous loop of getting feedback talking to different teammates, people in the company, and working on that as you go. Not having to wait a whole year to figure out what went wrong or what, are you, what, what are your, your goals are, but sharing your goals and improving them periodically. And so even, even to the point where you still could meet with your manager or some person in management, but it would take the, the shape of something very different, more of a servant leadership type of a meeting where instead of your boss, your manager saying what you've done wrong or what you should do differently, the manager took a position like this, where it was a servant leader role, saying, what can I help you do? How can I help you achieve more autonomy? What are the types of things you're interested in? Uh, how can I help you grow and, and master skills? And so it was flipping on its head the traditional uh, management hierarchy uh, for those type of meetings. Uh, so why would people be interested in doing this? Why would, why would you voluntarily take your time to be an advocate for another employee? This takes valuable time, you're meeting with them. Well, this, was, this for the advocate was also giving some meaning, some purpose, some connectedness to, to other people in the office rather than just working in delivery teams. And they were seeing the benefits of that. So uh, this really had a, a knock-on effect in terms of getting feedback uh, throughout the, the organization. People, a lot of people were new. They were not used to giving feedback, receiving feedback constructively. And so this started helping us grow in how we gave each other feedback. And so uh, it was important to, to be respectful with feedback. So we, we learned a lot of lessons about that. But um, here's some examples of what people shared with each other. I got some feedback from uh, people that I now is going to weekly, monthly, and getting feedback on things getting honest feedback. How, how can I improve? What do you like about what I'm doing? Uh, and then some of it was even just fun stuff, you know? So it was really personal. And so this is the idea of this program because instead of a one-size-fits-all program where everybody's getting feedback from anonymous sources once a year, it gets filtered through HR, now you're getting feedback on your own in, the own, in your own ways, the way that you, you can uh, best hear it and preferably face-to-face. -face. But people design their own ways of getting feedback. So uh, some people use Google Forms. They would send out periodically to their team members, just, hey, how am I doing? And so this, this was uh, uh, this one particular, me as a pairing partner. How am I doing as a pairing partner? So you could personalize and get feedback on the things that were important to you, but also with the guidance of your advocate. The advocate was there to help keep you honest about your feedback. Um, one of the things that, that came out of this, again, a lot of innovative ways to get feedback. So this is a 360 feedback. So face-to-face, uh, -face, all people in the, in the small little team giving each other feedback uh, all at once. This 
Uh, this is, and I, again, something that just emerged from this, uh, this program. So the idea is that we try to be more transparent with each other. So one of the other things that came out of this was uh, when you interview at Asynchrony, um, after you get hired, now the, the feedback from your interview is open to you to, to read. And so ideally you get feedback that you can start improving on based on your interview. Uh, and so again, the idea here is that it, we're focusing on, on shorter feedback loops, which help us learn more about what we're doing, how we're interacting with our teammates, and therefore help us improve much faster. So rather than waiting a whole year to be able to improve on something, the, the feedback may not be actionable at that point. That's too late. Uh, and again, this is, a, this is a way that people are connecting with each other, feeling some additional meaning in, in work. It's exciting. They, they, people are meeting with other advocates. Um, and it's, it's really interesting because we've, we've started helping each other. Advocates advocating for their, their, we call them avocados, helping each other to resolve conflict without the involvement of HR or management. It's really powerful. Um, and so even the executive managers are interested in this. Uh, they've enjoyed it, they've appreciated it they, because the, the annual review was not comfortable for them either. One of our executives actually is participating in the program as well. He, he chose or he asked a, a junior person in our, our uh, organization to be his advocate. So we've got our CTO who has an advocate himself. Uh, I don't know, Mike Burroughs must have gotten into my slides. Uh, this is, uh, I'm not sure how this got in there. Um, but anyway, you can rest assured that this is a, this is actually a program that's really impacting our culture at Asynchrony, and people are, are excited about it. So now we've got 300 people in the, com the company. We've got over 100 people participating in the advocacy program voluntarily. So uh, speaking of cats, so, um, so don't, don't be sad if, you, if you're stuck in an organization or situation where you've got a traditional program. Hopefully you've gotten some ideas of things you can do to emphasize more intrinsic things improving for, the, for its own sake through something like the advocacy program. Thank you.